Alright, welcome back. It already started. Don't sit in that welcome back now. It's already started 30 <laughs> seconds ago. We're at the third location. <laughs> and we're trying. You guys know we're at the third location. You watched two locations already. <laughs> and we're checking out Las No. Actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> and we're checking out Las Fuentes. Las Fuentes. Las Fuentes. So I feel like Fuentes is a last name, but it could also mean the Fuente the the Fuentes is like fountains. That's what mm. it actually means in Spanish. I like to think it's fountains. The fountain, the taco fountain, or the fountain of tacos. Maybe. Yeah. But like. <laughs> no, I, I definitely heard Fuentes, like De La Fuentes yeah. is the last uh-huh. name, right? Yeah, that's, that's a So De La Fuentes is of the fountains. Yeah. Michael De La Fuentes. So it's pouring with goodness out here. Ah, that's that's kind of what's what happening. It's <laughs> pouring with something. Yeah. It's in my house. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so this is the second spot that has hammy tortillas, right? Well, it's the second spot. I thought they were handmade, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They felt hello. Yeah. The, I, maybe they just wasn't, it was wasn't so the rough. fresh ones. Yeah. But hey, that's what happens. But look at their, their perfect size that we like. Perfect size. Yeah. Their handmade tortilla, cilantro cebolla, the huge. The salsa's already on there, so she didn't give any. Salsa, uh-huh. Limoncito. They're not too dry, but a little on the dry side. I don't know. You might, you might must be having bad luck with yeah. your limes today, dude. Mine's yeah. nice and juicy. No. It, nice it, and juicy. It feels pretty dry. Probably saw me coming in with that nice smile on the camera. Nice. You know what? We'll give that guy a nice nah. juicy lime. Nah. Yeah. That's what happened, folks. <laughs> All right, which one should we tackle first? Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's, most, it's our pastor and carne asada, right? Which is <laughs> we've had countless times. Oh, yeah, asada then. I like the handmade stuff. Vamos. Yeah, you can feel the difference even mm-hmm. just holding it right mm. right away. You can tell. Mmm. Nice and greasy. The tortilla definitely helps a lot. Mm-hmm. This one's actually hard to rate because the tortilla is nice. Mm-hmm. The meat is. Mm. The meat's okay. Really distinctive, huh? Has a. It definitely has a different quality to this meat. I want to say that's even like one of their own own cows. <laughs> you know, doesn't t- taste like that traditional like asada they throw on the grill. Like it has such a distinctive flavor. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know. Maybe it's the grease that we're tasting. Maybe there was a lot of fat mm. to the cut the cuts of meat. This one, it's so greasy. Um, do you know what I'm saying? It's like really distinctive. It's to me, it's you know, it's better than the three, but it's definitely not a four. So I guess you really have to do three point five. <laughs> so they, they have to be in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's good. I I can see the quality and everything, but the flavor, uh, I'm not really too digging it too much. It's not my kind of taste. That's the only thing that prevents it from being a four, in yeah. my opinion. But quality is really good. All right, Pastor. And they gave us an extra tortilla too. They were oh, yeah. really proud of their handmade tortillas. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna put another one under it for the hell of it. Yeah, might as well, huh? Yeah. I'm not. I don't give in to peer pressure. <laughs> so I'm a man. I'm a strong, independent man. How embarrassing. You're embarrassing. <laughs> Comment down below who's embarrassing. Folks. It's probably me. <laughs> I double wrapped it. <laughs> Mmm, it's got more flavor. Definitely unique as far as Alpa store goes in terms of the flavor. Mm-hmm. I never really tasted an Alpa store that tasted like this. It's good. It's different. Mm. It's definitely more on the soggy side. It's wow. very, very wet, this taco. But you know what? I also only have the one tortilla. Bro, on. two tortillas is way Double up. Mm-hmm. I actually really like these tortillas. They're like melt in your mouth. Yeah. So you know how soft they are? This is good al pastor. Mm-hmm. I think this al pastor, I'll give it a four. It's hard to say. I mean, as like Sam says, you do feel the quality there. Because the, the flavors they're going with, it's really unique. I've honestly mm-hmm. never tasted it. Mm-hmm. I want to say they're just using their own farm or like the direct source. Like they source it from their family's farm or something, I don't know. Because I do believe that every every farm is going to be different as what, the way that they raise their, 
they're animals. Maybe they're feeding them different things and it, it modifies the flavors. Yeah, I think these cows are probably doing yoga. Yeah. <laughs> Meditating. Yep. You know? I must be getting some massages, some masseuse. Yeah, you can really taste the health you now. Yeah. It's I feel like it's just something that they get accustomed to with that flavor. Cause if anywhere you go, you're gonna try different flavors, asada, pastor. So you just get accustomed to that kind of flavor and therefore people are gonna love that kind of flavor because that's the only thing they're trying. I agree with Sam folks, this the other pastor was a floor. <laughs> And if you do come here, I would say double up on the tortilla. Cause, for sure. Because if not, they're like ripping apart. Yeah, for sure. But the tortillas, definitely top notch. Really nice. So, let's go to verdict. I think my favorite taco, it's, it's you know, it's definitely a toss up between the Al Pastor here and the Quesabiria. Mmm. Over there at the end of Michoacan. I just mm -hmm. like saying Michoacan. It feels so. La Michoacana. Sexy Michoacan. <laughs> Michoacan, <laughs> even sexier. <laughs> but I guess I have to give it to the Quesabiria because I did give that a 4.5. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's probably my favorite taco of the day with the uh, Al Pastor here uh -huh. at Taqueria Las Fuentes, coming in a close second. Mm -hmm. But you know what? All the tacos were good. Yeah. Honestly, you know, I really, you, yeah. you really, well, you can't, you can complain about anything, mm -hmm. obviously, but you yeah. know. I'll sound like a broken record here, but Greenfield was way better than Berkeley. <laughs> way better oh, than Berkeley. Way better. Hell yeah. Yeah, who would have thought Hell a small yeah. town like this in just this one street <laughs> yeah. had better tacos than Berkeley. Yep. Um, my favorite spot would probably have to be the Tienda Michoacana. Mm -hmm. it's just, that's just such a cool setup, you know, it's a small, yeah. like, convenient supermarket store. They've got the deli, the butcher shop there too, and they've got tacos. It's well lit. Yeah, the people there are really nice and cool. Yeah, that's nice gotta be my clean, favorite spot. Yeah, very clean. Yeah, solid spot. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Favorite taco for me, I would have to give it to Al Pastor <sighs> because those tortillas. Honestly, I haven't tried any any like that. We've have we've have tried many handmade ones, but they're all different. They always vary. So this one's like very so Honestly, it's like it's like a, it's like a cloud. <laughs> got sliced into the little tortillas oh this guy's getting deep man just how <laughs> how soft and fluffy they are that's why I double wrap them and you're gonna have a really good experience for a taco <laughs> so maybe two of those double wrapped here would do it but up a store imagine if he talks that poetically about tacos <laughs> imagine how he talks to his woman oh, steph man. must be very lucky she's very in love with me guys so. <laughs> I know how to. And he's talk to so her. humble too. Yeah. Uh, she so has, has many attractive qualities. We're deeply in love with each other. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. So your favorite spot? Well, like you said, I think my favorite spot is also the carniceria. Uh, it has everything. Like I said, you're hungry. You're gonna need to do groceries. You're, you're out of milk. You need cereal. Baba is crying because he didn't buy him the Twinkies or whatever. Boom. You satisfy your cravings, and you satisfy the little baby's cravings, and you, yeah, you have a nice chat with the person there, whatever. Cool people's even even the person delivering the food was hella cool to us. Like, come on, you know what else do you want? It was, it's a cool town. I mean, why not check it out if you're on your way passing by? Check yeah, out one of these places. Yeah, if you're heading down to Southern California, yeah, you want to stop by, you know, a unique place for lunch that you've never been. Greenfield, it's not mm -hmm. a bad spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not much going on, but like I said, if you guys want some tacos. There was a lot going on today with these two guys. Mm, yeah, 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 they came fun. into town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Greenfield. Yeah, exactly.